high and scale with Gail Southern Living. Uh, this is tragedy video part two. So another thing happened. So I think it was Monday or Tuesday is when I woke up and found out that Boots had passed away in the night and he was buried. So uh, Saturday morning, I'm still in bed. My husband comes to the bedroom and tells me two chickens are dead and one is missing, but three chickens are dead because we haven't found the other one. So now we are talking about four chickens that are gone. So basically, it's a raccoon. Um, we uh, put some chicken wire, by we, I mean my husband, put some chicken wire over a couple of holes where the raccoon might have got in. Um, we also set up a couple of game cameras, the kind that are used for deer hunting. And so we got pictures of the raccoon uh, and video of the raccoon, which it's supposedly a pretty good size one. Um, today the cops were called because we don't have animal control in our little city. So now we have a trap, so we're going to try to t catch the raccoon or the raccoon family. So that's what's go going on. I went from 15 chickens to 11 chickens in a matter of a few days. So this is very devastating to me. So now I have four chickens that passed away. My sister's sick. And my brother and sister-in-law have the thing. And so I'm like, is that my three? Am I done? I mean, that's that's a lot. Uh, so, so first it was Boots, Tweety, Stevie, and Rusty. So Rusty and Boots were the two new chickens. Both of them are gone. Uh, and Tweety and Stevie. So Tweety was part of the first six we bought. Stevie was part of the second six we bought and Boots and Rusty were the last two I bought. So anyway, uh, I think it might have been Bland's Promised Land Ranch that was talking about possibly hatching some chicken, chicken eggs for me, some baby chickens. So I might, I might end up taking them up on that because uh, when they asked me I was down one chicken. Now I'm down four chickens. And these chickens are pets, so uh, it's kind of hard on me. Obviously, I didn't do the burying part of it all. And, um, yeah, so it's been a really rough week. Um, so I definitely need prayer. Um, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot to do with in one week. So I'm doing my best to stay positive and keep going but I do admit that it it's quite rough right now and uh, I definitely need your prayers your thoughts your love your virtual hugs all of that because um, you know it's starting to be a lot and you know I could choose to stay positive and go on or I could choose to lay down and and just let the devil trample all over me. And I choose not to let the devil trample all over me. So, you know, keep trying, devil, because you're not going to break me. So, that's basically my standstill on that. So, I just want to let you all know um, the other part of my news. And uh, love you guys. Have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind, guys.